ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದಂ ಪರಮಸುಖದ ಕೇವಲ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾಲಕ್ಷ ಏಕಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ವಿಮಲಮಚಲ ಸರ್ವಧಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಚರಿತ್ರ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ in the previous chapter we saw how shri guru had given in had given all the knowledge regarding how to do guru seva and made a ramin who was actually talking bad words about his guru to go back to his guru with all due respect then he came down to a holy place known as bhuvaneshwari and near bilavad bilavadi and stayed there and under an audumbara tree secretly shri guru observed chaturmasa living under the audumbara tree near bhuvaneshwari secretly till his name and fame spread in all the quarters namadaraka then asked why shri guru lived secretly why did he observe anushthana and asked for arms siddhamuni replied to him shri shankara and shri guru dattatreya like to beg arms shri guru roamed through holy places for protecting his devotees people came to him and harassed him for trifles and hence he lived secretly but though the kasturi is hidden its fragrance cannot be hidden similarly brightness of shri guru could not be hidden there lived at karavirapura a harnet brahmin who knew the vedas he had a dull foolish son his parents died in his childhood when he was seven his thread ceremony was celebrated but he could not do sandhya and recite gayatri mantra local brahmins abused him saying your father knew vedas and shastras but you have spoiled his name your life is worthless chintamani is best among the beads so is the knowledge for a person a man is honored by his knowledge a king is respected by his people but even a king respects a learned person as knowledge is the true wealth the boy requested them to suggest means for his improvement the brahmin said you will have knowledge only in the next birth you should beg for your maintenance in this life the boy being dejected went to a forest he was thinking of giving up his life in the evening somehow he reached bilavadi he took darshan of bhuvaneshwari and sat at the door of the temple next morning he cut his tongue and placed it at the feet of goddess and said if you do not kind if you do not be kind with me i shall even offer my head at your feet that night he had a dream in which devi appeared before him and said o oh, brahmachari why are you getting angry with me there is an avataric purusha sitting under an audumbara tree on the bank of river krishna go to him he will fulfill your desires he woke up and at once ran and crossed the river he rolled at the guru's feet and started praising him guru was pleased with him blessed him and put his hand on his head all the as as a varada hasta at once the boy got knowledge and enlightenment he also got his tongue back if the crow has a dip in the manasa sarovara it will become a rajahamsa so also he who touches guru's feet will acquire all knowledge guru is almighty his glory needs to be sung thus ended chapter 17 of shri guru charitra explaining 
how exactly a dull boy who could not able to get any knowledge with the grace of the guru with a touch of his hand on his head like a varada hasta he got all the knowledge for himself namaste sarada devi kashmir puravasini swamaham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehime goodbye